Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Sunday. I hope everybody's doing well and getting ready for 4th of July that will be here in a few days. So I want to come on here and once again talk about the agent of chaos, Elon Musk. So let's start from the beginning. It was a year ago that Elon Musk decided to pay $44 billion. Well, no, he didn't decide to pay shit. He was basically forced into it because, remember, he, had to, he tried to back out the deal. He claimed that Twitter was full of bots and all these excuses, and his fanboys were arguing with me. And I'm like, no, the deal was on the table. He can't now try and retract it because when he announced that he was going to buy Twitter, he did it looking for attention. And the courts basically held his feet to the fire and told him, no, at this point, you had to buy Twitter. So he ended up making the purchase um, over a year ago where he spent $44 billion. And since then, he's just been basically, a lot of people are saying, running Twitter into the ground. Um, and I understand he's also trying to make his coins back. So the first thing he did was basically implement the blue checkmark verification system. He revamped it and said that everyone can now be verified. He didn't care if you were a celebrity or a regular person. As long as you're willing to pay eight bucks a month, you could be verified. So then what ended up happening is at that point, there was three LeBron Jameses and two Beyonce's and a bunch of trolls who were verified, who were just creating chaos on the platform. They had to pull back the verification process, slow down on everything, and then they brought it back out a few months ago. So that caused some drama. You had a lot of celebrities saying that they're not going to pay money to be verified and things like that. And he went and he basically plucked everybody's blue check mark. I never had one, so no love, no loss here. But what's so funny is that yesterday, as I was doing research for the story that happened in Chicago with the mother and the son, you know, as I'm trying to go through Twitter and gather pictures and, you know, tweets and evidence, and I'm going through different platforms. When I do my reports, I go on Twitter, Google, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. So, you know, I go through a gambit of different social media platforms. And so I had did two stories yesterday and I noticed that halfway through me researching some more information on that front row that happened in Chicago for Jeremy Brown, all of a sudden I couldn't access anything. It said that I reached my daily limit. I was confused. It was just clocking. I shut down my computer, rebooted. Still would not work. I jumped on my phone, still wouldn't work. I had no idea what was going on, but I was like, okay, maybe Twitter's just down or something. I ended up just walking over to Facebook to finish what I needed to gather. So then I come back a few hours later, you know, after going to um, a barbecue and stuff like that. I come back and I see daily limits, uh, temporary read limits, all this stuff is trending on Twitter. Basically what happened is that once again, Elon Musk is being an agent of chaos. He announced yesterday that he is putting temporary, he announced yesterday that he's doing temporary read limits on Twitter. And that sent a lot of shockwaves through social media. And he's saying that he's citing concerns over excessive screen time, impact on mental health. And he wants to temporarily, you know, reduce people's interactions on Twitter. So this is what he tweeted. He says to address the extreme levels of data scrapping and system manipulation, we've applied the following temporary limits. Verified accounts are limited to reading 6,000 posts a day. Unverified accounts is 600 posts per day. And new unverified is 300 posts per day. So once he announced this, people were dragging him. And according to downdetector.com, they had over a thousand reports for Twitter outages between the hours of 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. yesterday. People were thinking Twitter was completely down. The only thing we kept getting was rate limit exceeded and, you know, please wait a few moments, then try again. So I, like many people, were very, very confused. And so this is just really frustrating. Even today, as I'm trying to research story on this story, 
I've once again supposedly reached my daily limit because right now it's just clocking. And what's disturbing is that mass shooting is trending, and somebody even wrote this on Twitter. They said, I can't see where the mass shooting is happening because Elon Musk is a dumb fuck. Um, So people are really upset about this, and I don't think it's to help people. I don't think it's about people's mental health or, you know, getting people to go outside more. No, what he's trying to do, he knows that he basically wasted $44 billion on this platform. This platform is a money-draining platform. They've never seen huge returns from Twitter. Elon Musk is desperately trying to get a return on his investment. And I believe he's doing this because he's trying He's trying to force people to pay for that blue verification so that way they can read up to 6,000 tweets. So let's make Twitter as uncomfortable for people and make it a not-so-friendly experience that people will then be so desperate enough to pay me 8 to $12 a month so that way they can see, you know, upwards of 6,000 tweets. I don't think most people go through 6,000 tweets a day, but I don't know because if you're on Twitter and that's what you do is just swipe and scroll and scroll, it's very easy to go past 100 tweets. You know, there was a lot of people saying, well, what's the big deal? That's a lot of tweets. Um, I only go on Twitter every now and then. I only probably read three tweets. Well, yeah, that's if you only read three tweets. But for people like me and others who actually use Twitter as research and, you know, as a backdrop for like different stories, we have to be able to go through the tweets. We have to be able to do an investigation. We have to be able to see where the initial tweet originated from to put together a story for you all when we're doing these videos. So to have this data cap on Twitter is very frustrating. And again, this is just another form of censorship because you have people now who are saying that There's things trending, but they can't even click on it to get the information on what is going on. So right now there's a mass shooting happening in South Baltimore, but half of Twitter can't access it because they already went over their limit. And the only way they can access it is to pay Elon Musk money. So I just think this is a slippery slope, but I've been talking about this for years on social media, that eventually all of these platforms are going to be subscription based. All of these platforms are looking to make money. And a lot of these advertisers are not paying what they used to once pay. A lot of advertisers have backed down. A lot of companies are going down. So that sweet ad revenue is not what it was. So now they're trying to put the onus on the users. For so many years, we've allowed y'all to come onto Twitter and Instagram on Facebook and Facebook and enjoy our services. Well, now we need y'all to pay for it. And because most of the populace is super addicted to social media, they're going to pay for it. People can talk all that fly shit about, well, I'm not on Twitter. I don't care about Instagram. I'm not paying for it. But all of us are somewhat addicted to social media. I would have never thought that I would pay a monthly membership to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But the ads got so out of control. We're we're literally, they're playing an ad every like two to three minutes. And these ads will go anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes long, sometimes an hour. You know, like I've said before, that's not an ad. That's a full-fledged documentary. So at that point, I went ahead and I'm just paying the $17 a month just to have YouTube ad free because it's frustrating once again when I'm trying to do research and I have to watch ads back to back to back. So for me, i rather just give them my money and, you know, watch what I need to watch, get the information I need to get. So I think this is what Elon Musk is doing, just like what YouTube did. YouTube will never admit it, but they went from having literally three second ads that were skippable. Then they bumped it up to 10 seconds. Then they started doing two ads in one where you get an ad and two ads would play back to back. And then they're like, F it. We're going to start putting in 30 minute ads, 60 minute ads. It's like they wanted to annoy people so bad and make the user experience so difficult that people literally had no choice but to sign up for the YouTube memberships. So I think that's what Twitter is doing as well, because I remember when I joined the membership A lot of people were saying, you know, thank goodness this is an option. I hate how I had to run out the kitchen every, you know, two to three minutes to hit skip ads when my kids are watching YouTube videos. And then even got so bad where some of these ads you couldn't skip. You literally had to sit there and watch the whole two to three minute ad 
where they will not even allow you to skip some of these ads. So I think that's what a lot of these social media sites are trying to do. They're trying to make the user experience that we've all grown to know and love. They're trying to make the user experience so crappy that eventually you'll pay for the premium package. You know, it's the oldest trick in the book. It's almost like modern day obsolescence. So I don't know, but I'm really frustrated with Elon Musk and, you know, this whole Twitter daily limit usage. Again, if you're not on Twitter like that, it's not affecting you. But for people like me who do use it and who do use it for more than just trolling and talking shit, I'm literally on there taking notes, researching, getting screenshots, putting together stories, putting together information, and to not have access to that sucks. So I don't know if I'm going to end up paying for the premium. Um, If it ends up affecting my work a lot, I may just have to pay for the premium. So just know if I do end up paying for it, it's not because I'm looking to get a Twitter badge and be verified. I could care less. I need the data. I need the information. And a lot of information, unfortunately, good or bad, it starts on Twitter. So anyways, y'all, that is my rant for the day. I'm so frustrated with this situation, but it is what it is. I pass the question off to you guys. How do you guys feel about the Twitter daily um, limit? Have you been affected by this? Do you feel like it's not a big deal because you don't use Twitter? And do you feel like there's more to the story? That Elon Musk is not doing this to, you know, better our mental health and make us go outside and, you know, search for people who are abusing the system. He's doing this to make the user experience uncomfortable. So that way we'll be forced to pay for the premium package. I believe in my heart of hearts that is what Elon Musk is trying to do. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Feel free to share this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. And most of all, thank you so much for supporting the content. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.